in this video. Unfortunately, I am human and it feels bad to read negative comments, says Peko Bagnaya. Brad Binder reveals problems with the right height device which almost ended his race. And Alicia Spagro reveals the setting change he made to avoid Marques like crash. My name is Sankalp and this is your Racing News Fix. Peko Bagnaya was being hyped as the title favourite going into the season. But so far, things have not gone according to the plan for the young Ducati rider. After a DNF at Qatar, things were looking good at Mandalika, where he even declared Friday practice as the best day of the year. But the rain hit race threw him right off the rails and he came home with just a single point. Speaking about the front end troubles he had in the wet race, Peko started. Last year we finished the year and we were strong in the wet. In the test, the rainy conditions always showed that we were strong in the wet. But today, my feeling was gone. I could not brake like I usually do because it locked the front a lot and that is not usually the case. So I couldn't push. The front tyre didn't work and there are many question marks. Already putting the bad weekend behind him, Peko is looking forward to racing in Argentina soon. Peko said, Let's look at the positives. The good work done up to the warm-up will help us in Argentina. We have a good base for Argentina, but I can only say a few words at the moment. Due to the lack of performance on track and the lack of points on board, Bagnaya has recently come under some harsh criticism from the media. Speaking about dealing with that, Peko said, Unfortunately, I am quite human from this point of view. That is why I say it's bad to read articles about me and see such negative comments. It's definitely something that will make me reflect all week. However, knowing myself, when we get to the next race, the only thing I will think about is trying to be fast and be in front. I am also fortunate to have the right people to help me at home, who are my coach and my girlfriend. While KTM's Miguel Oliveira won the Indonesian GP in a very strong manner, his teammate Brad Binder finished in P8. Now on paper, it may look like a very average result, but that's only until you realize that Binder did the whole race with a major technical issue. Binder said that although he was very disappointed with P8, under the circumstances, it felt like a victory to him. Binder explains. I am disappointed because I felt good all weekend, especially on the rain tyres. Despite the rain, the grip on the track was phenomenal. But I ran the whole race with the right height device locked, so I consider this 8th position as a victory. If we had a dry race, I don't think I would have been able to achieve the same result. Ultimately, we were lucky. It has not been easy to finish the race with the bike in that condition, so I feel satisfied. Dragging his issue-stricken RC16 to the checkered flag, Brad also came under attack from his brother Darren who was having a very impressive race himself. Speaking about racing with his brother, Brad said, I was glad when my brother overtook me. At the time, I was waiting behind Marini. Then I tried what I could and told myself I had to try. It was very nice to see how well my brother was driving. I am very proud of him. And we all saw the crash that Marquez had in the warm-up session at Pandalika. But the one who had the front seat was Alicia Spagro. Alicia was following Mark at the time and got really scared when Mark was violently thrown into the air. Just like many other riders, Alish also had more than a few scares which could have potentially ended up like Marquez did. After witnessing the crash, Alish made his team change a setting on his bike to avoid a similar outcome. Alish started by saying, I was two seconds behind him and I saw him fly. I got really scared and actually cut the gas because I saw him on the ground like a dummy. When I got back to the box, I told my guys that I had never seen a crash like that in my life. On Saturday, I had two very big scares at the same point. And that's why I decided to play with the rear brake spring so that when I stepped on it, practically nothing happened. It was a false break. If you made it till here and still are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell. Here are two more videos which you might enjoy. My name is Sankal and I'll be back with another video very soon.